This is the Blockade Pimple Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Freebus, a.k.a. Shut Your Trap. Joining me as always, Jared Morgan. Hello, everyone. How's it going? It's uh, another glorious weekend. Well, another glorious weekend, is it? Right. Yes. Um, yeah. So, f- fun things. Uh, we've, here in California, uh, have been just getting pelted with rain, which is very unusual for us to have it multiple days in a row. Uh, but mm. then on top of that, it was from an Arctic surge. Oh. And so temperatures plummeted. And uh, the other day we, well, not to ruin the magic or anything, but the other day I guess we had snow in Disneyland. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> yes. Um, At th- ground level in California. Yes. Uh, in su- Yeah, not in the mountains. And um, they were calling okay. it, uh, I guess we have a new term for it from, I guess it's from the back east, like grapple or grapple. Um, it's a, oh. it's not hail, but it's not snow. It's basically snow that has a lot of wet particles around it. So right. okay. it wasn't falling with rain. It was just falling as that. So when you looked at the sky, it looked like snow was falling. But then as soon as it hits the ground, it just goes blah, wet. <laughs> Oh, so it just, oh, okay, right. Yeah. So it's almost like a, it's a crusty outside with a wet center. Yeah, kind of. Sort of and, and and it was the weirdest thing because right. like, you know, scooped it up in your hand and squeezed it and it was like rubbery. Oh, it was like really the, bizarre. The, it was like, that was like the texture. It had just like this rubber give to it because it wasn't quite ice, wasn't quite wet. That is fl- very I don't know. strange. It was very weird. But anyway, so for like 15 minutes, people were losing their minds. <laughs> uh, I could imagine because how often does it do that in California? Like never? Uh, so the last time it snowed where it shouldn't, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I was in high school. It was like 30 years ago. Um, wow. Okay. More. Oh God. Yeah. I more. must say that. <laughs> Let's hope all this uh, like weird weather and wetness is falling where it needs to fall, though. Um, I don't know if you have the same problem as we do here in Australia, but normally our catchments are up in the the sort of mountainous areas, and um, it it usually doesn't fall over the mountain mountainous areas. It falls sort of more towards the coast. So, uh, you, like the the dams and reservoirs remain empty. So you know, yeah, our our reservoirs are filling up. But they're That's not weird. where we get our primary water from. Um, oh, we, okay. we we get all of our water from the Colorado River, <laughs> right? Okay. Um, and unfortunately, so does a few other states. <laughs> and right. those lakes and stuff where it all feeds into those have been precariously low. Like I've seen some of them where they've like found dead bodies and stuff that were in drums, thinking they'd never be found again. Um, and they've been uncovered. There's <laughs> been uh, uh, lost towns that have been discovered. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. Like towns that was was subsumed with the dam project, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. all coming back out uh, up open again. Very yeah. weird. Um, you know, you look at the lakes and they have a very severe tan line. <laughs> yeah. You know, like a really, I've seen there's some lakes as well that like have like a like a marina precinct, yeah, and they've had to move the marina precinct ever so down the the I mean, lip ta- of the the dam. We're t- we're talking like 500 feet of water down, kind of level. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll see what all this does. All I know is it's wrecking havoc in our local mountains, um, because it- they're not used to this severe amount of dump. Um, yeah, you know, if if you were to go up north a little bit, you know, like to uh, to Mammoth Mountain, for those of you that know that, it's more towards the Sierras and everything. They're used to having, you know, twenty feet of snow. Snow around. Um, you know, their yeah. buildings are structured as such. But in the local mountains yeah. here, they're not meant to have this much dump this fast. And I know that yeah. one of the grocery stores up in the mountain, uh, that at a at a elevation that gets very little snow, they yeah. got slammed and the entire roof collapsed. So because it wasn't designed to pitch the snow yeah, off it. Yeah. So, you know, everything wow. was frozen food. <laughs> everything was frozen food, that's right. <laughs> um <laughs> Yep. You know. Uh that's wild. Well, 
Well, yeah. At least, you know, snow means water. So hopefully the snow melts in the right way and goes into the right places. Yeah. You know. In other news, I, uh, I got a new receiver because uh, mine had died. And okay. I, didn't, uh, I didn't spend a load of money on a receiver like I have in the past. Because um, mm. I realized, you know, I don't have, I only have the five speakers. I don't, I'm not doing full Dolly Atmos or anything. Um, yeah, that's right. But what I didn't think about, and this actually happened with my last receiver, uh, you know, video inputs, uh, they die off. <laughs> they, they do. So I yeah. used to have my LaserDisc player back in the day hooked up to a receiver that had plenty of S video inputs. And yeah, only right. a few component in video inputs. And then the next receiver I bought didn't have any S video inputs, but still had the component video inputs. And this latest receiver that I bought, it has plenty of HDMI, which was all I was thinking about. Um, doesn't have a single regular video input on it. It's all HDMI now. All HDMI. The, but not even like not stuff. even a simple basic cable like yellow plug. Yellow, yellow plug. Socket. Yeah, no yellow plug. <laughs> no, you're gonna have to get a a, a converter, an HG, <laughs> like an old school to new school converter. I, I think I have one of those because at some point I was using a converter to convert to HDMI because <laughs> mm-hmm. I didn't have enough. I only had like two HDMI inputs on the old receiver. Um, right. But uh, yeah, so uh, that's caused a little bit of uh, okay. I mean, the only thing literally that I was plugging in was. Um, well, the laser disc player now just plain doesn't get plugged in, but I hadn't used it in years anyway. Um, but the PS2 now has to be plugged in directly to the TV. <laughs> right, yeah. Which again, it's I haven't... anything that has uh, like a it's component video components. Um, yeah. Which is funny. They sell a HDMI converter for it for like thirty bucks. I'm like, no. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, not not for a PS2, though. I don't use very much. Next to never use. I, I literally fired it up today just to be like, see if it still worked. <laughs> and I was like, hey, I right. should play some games on this. It looks like fun. Um, yeah, but it the, is fun. But then the other thing that, that wound up happening is... So my TV has uh, ARC, which is that audio return cable. So you yep. can send audio and receive over... Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, the receiver is eARC. And I don't think the two want to communicate nicely with each other, not on the HDMI 1.4 cables that I have. I Uh, think it wants the HDMI 2.1, or is it 2.3? You need twos at minimum to do it. So do you think any of the local stores sell those? No. No. Um, Well, our our local Best Buy does, but for a two-foot... Cable, which is not anywhere yeah. near enough. They want fifty some dollars. Yeah, definitely um, go Amazon for that. <laughs> yeah, Amazon. I can pick up Amazon one for, is your friend. Yeah, I can pick up one for five bucks. Um, but I don't have yeah. Prime. But <laughs> so, uh, you shouldn't have to worry though. It'll, it'll be domestic anyhow, won't it? Uh, yeah, but they still charge you. But it's five bucks for the cable, and that's be like five bucks for shipping. So I just need to just get two cables. Then. But. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta hit that twenty five dollar <laughs> threshold. Um, you got it, yeah. You know, yeah. Get a, like some other random thing that you can also get shipped in the same consignment. <laughs> You'll be right. Free shipping, then. Hooray! Or low shipping. But I need I need that uh, in order for my headphones to work. Oh, really? Okay. Well, because my headphones uh, get the audio from the TV mm-hmm. uh, via an optical cable. Of which here's problem number two, the my old receiver had two optical outs, and this receiver only has one, oh, <laughs> and that's already okay. being hooked up to the TV, uh, or or how is it? Or you is it an optical out? The... Excuse me, it's like an optical. I don't know. Anyway, I'm I'm one optical short, uh, right. <laughs> so I can't get a signal to the uh, headphones that way, and so the only way I can get it is from optical out from my TV because HDMI will be going up into the TV. But because it's not doing eARC, it won't like, and because this is fun too. So (laughs) because HBO and Netflix and uh, Disney plus all now send out a Dolby Atmos 
signal. Signal. Uh, my TV can't do Dolby Atmos. It, it was all before Dolby Atmos existed. So you need to downsample it to two point one, or set your settings to two point one, or something. Well, like my that. settings used to be it used to do five point one just fine <laughs> until all this right. all these companies switched to Dolby Atmos, and yeah. So anyway, it's. You know, it's it sounds like you know just add upgrading your TV to something less no. than no, because my TV is 3D and you can't buy those anymore. Right. Okay. <laughs> so you're stuck with that until it dies, and then you can't do any 3D content. Right. Right. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. Yeah. Old trying to get old technology to work with modern day stuff is an exercise in frustration, which is why luckily I don't have a DVD collection that I need to worry about. Um, all my stuff is is up in someone else's computer. Yeah. Um, and and all I do is I I just have the latest TV with like Google um, Google Home on it, and uh, or not Google Home, but you know Google TV with all the things that you need like Plex and YouTube and all that, and it just works. Um, and I've got a sound bar that's all compatible nicely with Atmos, and it all just works. Yeah. So it's it's. You can do what you do and battle with old stuff because you need certain features. Uh, but then you have to ask yourself, how often do you actually go back and watch a 3D content? All the time. Um, on your own. <laughs> all the time. Right. So you're, all, you're going in there. Whenever, the I watch it, whenever I watch a Marvel movie, I watch it in 3D. In 3D. Yeah. Right. I have them all in 3D. So. Right. Um, I do. I'm, I've got a decent collection of 3D movies. Um, so if the opportunity presents itself, I will watch in 3d. Um, okay. Cause you know, I have it got to use it while yeah. it works. <laughs> well, that's true. Yeah. Nothing really new to report here. I've put my, my two pinball machines on the list for B pack again this year. Ah. So they'll be going over there and, uh, uh, Jessica, uh, Lee Donato, who is flying over from the US to come over for Big Pack again, also has a Pink Panther. So um, we will maybe have a diamond chase competition on Pink Panther uh, to to sort of you know have a bit of fun with it. See, the way that Pink Panther works is you lock your three balls, and then you do this mode where you you have a separate counter that uh, measures how many diamonds you've collected throughout the multi ball, and that's essentially like the wizard mode on that game if you want to call it a wizard mode um because it's not easy to lock all three balls um so once you get there it's like all right i gotta get diamonds and that's really what you measure your success by on the okay. game it's how many diamonds you get so it's fun it's not easy to get to um and it's uh, quite rewarding when you get there so uh it's it's a fun mode to sort of strive for and have challenges against so it should be fun you guys are going to be playing for pink slips, right? Oh. Well, we, <laughs> we we will be putting dollar coins because we have coins here, not notes. We're we'll yeah. putting dollars on the on the pinball table for sure. Dollar um, dues and dollary bucks. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> It'll be fun. Uh, all right, folks. So uh, today's order of things happening, we are going to uh, play two of those tables that we said that we would uh, play that we hadn't played previously. Uh, that being Garfield and Snoopy. So let me fire up the old pinball effects. Uh, yep. That, uh, what are you telling me? What do you mean there's a cloud conflict? <laughs> uh, it's a sync conflict. I just was had this thing up. Well, all right, we'll go newer. Upload to cloud. You know what probably would have happened is it would crack because we had some problems before starting the show, folks, so... Chris had like a full system lock and everything. So that's usually what happens with um, Epic Game Store and the Cloud Sync. Um, if you have an unusual end to your application, it, it doesn't sync it back to the cloud, um, which is why when you finished Pinball FX on Epic Game Store, it then reopens the Epic Game Store again because that's its sync process. That's when it does the sync. Oh, no, um, that's the one I want. There we go. Hey, it worked. Fantastic. Hey. I like it when it works. Mm. When things work is actually quite good. You know? <sighs> so, um, I <laughs> reviews have been coming out for this. Uh, PS5 Yeah, you know reviews. what the reviews are? 
you hear, you know, the all saying. Oh, something, something monetary issues. Right? But, you know, masking a great game. That's all I've seen. I'm like, that is not the You're game. You're missing the point, folks. Yeah. You are missing the point. Why am I... Yeah. Hold on, why is my controller now not wanting to work? It's probably just not turned on. No, it's turned on. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, did you have to restart the, um, the PS2? No, no this, PS. uh... My controller just shouldn't have an issue. It should just function. Should, quote unquote, just work. It was literally just working before everything went to crap. <laughs> oh, before the big system restart. Yeah. Yeah, right. Well, that, that's, <laughs> that, that'll be the problem. All right. Hold on, folks. We're going to, uh, let me go back to this here. I'm going to try restarting this whole thing. Figure out what the what is. I'm gonna try. I'll, I'll try turning. Okay, controllers recognized there. We'll go ahead and use the DS4 Windows just to see if that helps. Hmm. Because it's not supposed to be needed. It's not supposed to be, but you know. I'm also waiting for the push button to start the screen, and it's not giving me that. There it is. There it goes. I think we're working now. Well, that's good. Well, I recognized my button input, so. <laughs> um, yeah, so they're fixating on the monetary aspect rather than the actual game itself and the all they can focus on in that respect is that oh well it doesn't seem like it's uh doesn't seem like it's worth the money since i already have it all on fx3 and everything yeah um, and, and, I, and, I got nothing to say yeah and, and then you go into the comment section and it's you know holy hell <laughs> Oh, it's it's the the bottom half of the internet. It's this uh, comedian called uh, uh, Dave Gorman. Well, because the show called oh. Modern Life is Goodish. Okay. Um, and he talks about the bottom half of the internet. He has this series, this part of the show called A Found Poem, where he goes and looks at a hot topic on the internet, goes to the bottom half of the internet where all the comments are, and creates this found poem out of the, his favorite oh. comments, and puts it to like an orchestral score, and it's the funniest thing. Um, so yeah, these are this bottom half of the internet is always a bad place to look. You never look there. You never look at the bottom half. But it's funny because here's what they're they're focused now entirely on the uh, season pass. And, oh really? Yeah, oh yeah. That's that's what they're hung up on. They're hung up on the season pass and saying that oh there's that monetization thing. I'm like, you completely it's, ignore the part where you can just purchase the tables. Yeah, and. That that oh, that bro. thing is only for the pinball pass, and it's only so Zen can actually Congrats. offer the pinball pass cross platform. Yeah, that is the only reason why the monetization thing exists. Yeah, it's it's not that you have to buy it. Everyone has to leave home. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. And you can see, you can absolutely see why Go ahead. why Zen had to drop it, like the whole ticket thing. Well, but I mean, again, because... it's it's they can't win because because then no. it became uh, well. I should have been able to just, uh, you know, pay 20 bucks and have my license carry over for all those other things. Yeah, right. It's like, mm-hmm. So, look, you know, it does your license carry over for The Last of Us Remastered? Right. you have Last of Us on PS2? No, it doesn't. No, nope. it's a new game. Again, we've had these conversations many a time. Yes. Um... But so, yeah, you're right. It's it's disappointing to see that that's the only coverage they're getting. Yeah. Like, it. Just, uh, look, I got I've got no words. I just I feel do, like but... let's let's revisit this. <laughs> let's revisit this in two years, um, when there's you yeah. know another thirty some tables <laughs> that have been released, and let's yeah. see how many of those people that said I'm not giving them any more of my money have actually given them their I'm, money. Um, yeah. Because I, yes. I know the sensation 
they're going to go ahead and buy one or two of those Lock tables the that they really wanted, like an Adams family. And start a main they're going to want to catch them all. And then they're going to want to catch them all because they're going to hate seeing yep. those grayed out spaces. Dark and they absolutely night. will. Yep. Without a doubt. And that's what's going to happen. They're going to basically eat their words just by by paying anyhow. So, whatever. It's just a lot of saber, saber rapping, but it's just a lot of a lot of noise about nothing, Seek really. Out the red yeah. and I'm sure that that's, that's how Zen is taking it as well. It's just like, we, we, we yeah, okay, sure. Don't, don't, don't buy anything. We'll just wait. We'll be over here. Just waiting for you to... Like Seek lose, out the red lose and your bring him down. Um, initial, you know, feelings about it. Yeah. Anyhow, so so Snoopy. Yeah, I'm I'm seeking out the Red Baron right now, and I gotta say, uh, very easy to understand what I'm supposed to be doing right here. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta shoot the the ball that comes down. Well, but I mean, the call out specifically saying seek out the Red Baron and shoot him down. I hit the Red Baron. This has got very good. Line for multi dog, multi. Okay, flashing line. Hit the home base saucer. I'm still trying to work out with this mode is whether either ball can shoot the lane or whether you got to shoot it with the red baron ball. I think it's in either ball. I think it's either ball either. Oh, look, there's Snoopy yeah. on the ball too. I just noticed that. Yeah, there is. I do like it how they paint the balls in this. All right, table let's try. So I get it. I'm guessing I have to go to the tree, right? That's what I'm... Um, yes. That's the flashing lanes. Yep. Okay. That's what you need to get. I'm not good at passing in a multi-ball situation. Really? Oh. Okay. Ah, come on. Seems like it should come be an on. easy shot. <laughs> well, it is an easy shot. But like everything. Okay, we got one. Hit the red baron ball. I hate and shoot that red baron. Don't yeah, worry, okay. we'll get him next it, time. It, I think you. Yeah, you I think to, it had to be the red baron ball. It had to be, yeah. Which is, you know, it's interesting. Like as a game mode, you got to use a particular ball to shoot mm -hmm. the shot. Well, that's that's a fun. So it takes the, the notion that this table is actually an easy table away a bit because you've got to actually be strategic. It was a dark so right now, obviously, the Snoopy night. house is our mode hole, which I like that. Okay, let's not let's do a different one. Uh, astronaut yeah. Snoopy. Okay. I like this mode. It's a quite Fair fun. Snoopy for space. Again, shoot the doghouse. Yeah. Okay. Easy enough. Nice shot. Come on, Snoopy. Collect the samples. Some rocks. And so there's the moon shots. All right, there's actually moons. I didn't even notice that there was moons when I was playing this. But yeah, I see the moons. So I have to get up to a ramp, clearly. Yeah, you do. Oops. Hurry up! Your oxygen is running out! Oh, it's a hurry up, huh? Oh, nearly. My oxygen uh, yep. is running out. Yep. Losing all of these oh. games is driving me oh, crazy. Oh, you just missed it. <laughs> Snoopy, supper right. time. Hey, there's dog Moments food all away. over the place now. So the dog food mode is actually, I find, quite a lucrative mode. Um, if you collect all the all the dog food and then shoot the dog house, you get like a million points oh, wow. each time you do that. So it's not a bad mode. If you're playing in tournament, Oops. which at the moment, at time recording, this table is in the uh, events Walkhead. tab. Um... So you definitely do this mode over and over again, and you'll get decent points. And the shots aren't that dangerous, so yeah, it's pretty safe to do. Because there's some other ones like the actual modes, Hurry up. Um, like the actual Snoopy main modes supper. that we each up to the wizard mode. They're they're not easy, and they're a little bit risky. So you have to change your play style a bit when you're in tournaments, I think. Da, 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 da. Get in. There we go. Nice. The money in the world. Good okay. And it's not that hard to requalify for that mode again either. So that will give you your right kickback. So this is the thing that I took me a while to realize, but uh, oh, nice, nice beat. <laughs> um. So you can see just by doing that how lucrative that that yeah. mode is. Like it's very easy to get points because I didn't do that in my approach this week when I was playing it. And um, yeah, I went for main modes rather than the Everyone like sub modes. 
and that was the result. I didn't get a, a particularly high score because I bombed out of the of the main mode. So this is by Dolby. Yep. For so one of our new designers. Yeah, I actually quite like the design of this table. It's very flowy. Um, it actually it's Super, Super very Star reminiscent Cast. though. Start I think the mode. that double stacked left in lane is very reminiscent of the way Stern Pinball me, does their the double stacked world. in lane. So anything. Anyone who plays a lot of Stern Pinball games with that arrangement um, knows that that's exactly what happens on Stern Pinball as well. <laughs> when you've got the two um, outlines like that, because you'll see that the position of the outline posts, they're all come. on the same horizontal plane. Oh, yeah. So normally, normally with the outline post, the outline post is slightly elevated from a geometry perspective, and that is what allows you to get control of the ball but the ball basically already enters the um the outlane before you can do anything about there. it and and it makes it very hard to escape a drain on that side and on either side actually this one's a drain monster as far as that everyone going. has to leave home so i'll just point out again folks um other than when this was in the pinball party mode. app uh mm. which i played it a little bit in that um, I haven't played it since this is my first firing up in Pin Effects. Well, mm. you've come to the right place. And I've only played it like a couple of times, like when it entered in, Lock and usually only when it surfaced in the tournaments, which I think is probably the first time it's come in. What is it saying? Um, it says lock the, the ball. Is that with Lucy? Uh, lock the balls, your very right hand shot. It's that green blinking shot. It's very oh, late geez, on the loser. Are... That's a tough shot to get in. That's a very late on the on the on the um prime loser. Oh, that's a great shot. Yeah, nailed it. So the the, the whole wins. kite multi ball thing is just essentially it's a it's a hidden spellorama. You just gotta shoot that left ramp over and over again. And that'll qualify for the kite multi ball, but it's like it's you got to shoot it, I think, three times to qualify the lock, and then you got to do that again two more times. Rats. And it's it's hard to get that. Um, it's weird too because it seems the, like it's such an easy ramp to to get. Yeah, it, I mean, it doesn't it look feels like... it's it's nice and wide, and you go well. You know, it shouldn't be that hard to nail over and over again. But the thing is, it doesn't feed it back Everyone to the to it doesn't come. feed it back to the um, the right flipper. It always feeds it to the left, oh. so then you have to let it let it go down, let it dead bounce off the flipper, and then um, take the shot again. So there's there's always a little bit of risk introduced to it, and I think you know you you don't want getting multi balls to be too easy. I think there should be some challenge to it, but well, I think, I think your big point multi ball there should be a challenge. I am a fan no of allowed. having multi-ball just you know start <laughs> a little bit like you know attack from mars and how easy it is to get multi-ball off exactly. the first time with that you just shoot that shot and you're, you're there basically it's a very easy shot to get yeah like because the that multi-ball that you're going for in that right hand side um you you qualify that by rolling over the uh, in lanes at the top that'll light that lock Stop it, dog. Saying I need to sneak past her. If I could hit anything. Hey, not shot. Okay, we got that. But if it's sneak past Lucy, don't hit her. Successfully lane. Okay, so just hit the lit lane. Oops. Unfortunately, I think that counted as a hit against her, huh? Yeah. Maybe. Get one more. Ah! Oh, oh no. Everyone has to leave home. There's a skill shot. What? Player raised. what is it? Oh. Lock the ball. I thought I'd hit the skill shot on that. Snoopy's dog house to start you missed it. Mode. Did you change the lane? It's not. How do I get to that uh, baseball bat? Uh, you shoot the baseball. You gotta shoot the baseball captured ball a number of times. Then the saucer will light, and you shoot it into the saucer. That mode will also light the 
the left it's and right um, loops for kickback as well. So if you shoot the capture ball enough times, has it will pump. light the uh, kickback and you just got to redeem race. it basically. Time. Collect some food, I guess. Yeah, get the food. Like, cash all your food in, then redeem it at the uh, thing. Try and get them all because you get like one, one point two mil if you do that. That's good points. Nope, not there. No. Nope, not there. <laughs> not there. That's uh, not the shot you want. I don't I think mean, I can backhand it from there. No. That's right. Nice shot. That. Hurry no. up! Let's try and Snoopy cash is it in. waiting for his supper! Um, oh, almost. Nearly. Okay. Ah! Oh, 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 no. Friendship like ours Frustrating. Is this is the thing about this game. Like, it is... It's very much the case of oh I'll I'll get it next time right it's there's a lot of there's it's really nicely I think the the, the sort of replayability of this it's frustrating enough that you want to do it again <laughs> yeah it's not yeah. frustrating enough that you have, don't want to see the table again in your life yeah which unfortunately some of these ones are like Borderlands <laughs> do you see video of uh, um, Foo Fighters table. With the oh yes, with that that Everyone death save me, post. <laughs> yeah, how cool is it? I was just like, that's pretty bold. Um, the, down here in Australia, the first round of pro um, tables is already sold out. Mm. Um, so the distributor has already sold out of the first round. The next round of pro tables will be out in June here. And you know, the, even though I'm not a I'm not a massive fan of Foo Fighters, I like their music. I'm mm -hmm. not a rabid fan. And I was looking at this table going. I actually went to the manufacturer's website to have a look at prices. Nah. I was going, what What are these actually worth now down here in Australia? And it turns out that they're about 12,000 Australian dollars okay. um, with, the, with the current exchange for a pro. Um, and I'm going, you know, that's that's not terrible. But with a pro, you don't get the upper play field. Go ahead. You don't Ask get the, um, the bang back post. Uh, and you you don't get the magnet in the lock area. Um, yeah, there seemed to be. I mean, I didn't really look at the video closely, but there seemed to be a lot that you're not getting. Shoot the ball to the baseball. Yeah, field. but the funny thing is that I think, like, if you look at the, the the cost, which is you know, now you're up there, nice. Oh yeah, and not for you're not playing. Yeah, get no, off. you've got it. It's it's really not easy to keep it up there. I will say, and it's not super easy to qualify it either like you've got to like shoot that then the source and the source is a late shot it was a dark, but it's fun to get up night. there to the upper play field i see we did ask him can you kick it okay, Charlie um, Brown. so this is just a combo shots mode oh great yeah so you gotta shoot the center then shoot the, the ramp moon. then shoot the side ramp is basically the shot making there right. it's not easy like, all these main modes are not easy oh, nearly just a little more Zeus. Good shot. Oh, and then to the tree. Yeah. I Did you notice there how block off. The, when when you made the shot, everything was blinking, but you couldn't, like the first time around, you didn't I know what your second win. shot was because everything was blinking, so mm -hmm. you, you couldn't work it out. That's a bit of a, a problem. Minor problem. But. Well, no, I, th I think I worked it out pretty fast. It didn't. Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah. The, the... Again, this is a case where I think if there was a darker mode, it would help. Because your be eye would immediately be drawn to. Good save there. I want to win. It. Ah! We learned more from losing than we do from winning. Yeah, the the times it's not super long on these, so. But you're right. It's um, ah. Ah! it's it's a good, decent layout. Um, it's it's a good layout. Like everything's nice and open. And it's got a nice. I'm not doing the wait. What do I do now? Thing. 
Give us none of that. Um, I know where my mode hole is. The modes that have started, I've immediately understood pretty much what I need to do. Yep. Um, you know, does it have the callouts? Not particularly, but... They also, though, do seem to be... Um, you have a problem? Well, you've come to the right place. Snoopy, uh, uh, supper time. The callouts actually make sense like right now, where it just says Snoopy, supper time. Great, I understand immediately that there's dog food on the table. You know what I mean? Yeah. So... And that you, you should hit those things. Yeah. 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 So I don't necessarily need it to be specifically, shoot all the dog food that's on the table, but the call out definitely is cluing me in to what needs to be happening. Yeah, that's right. What I need to do. And conveniently, that last shot was right in the middle, so you get your points on the clicks as well, which is quite nice. Oh, it's one more. Just over that Snoopy's awkward right flipper. You'll get that from the loop, though. So you don't really need to swap it. It'll qualify from a loop around. Oh. And normally if you shoot it up the the, the right hand loop, it'll trickle down into the um the left hand friendship like uh, ours sort of loop exit anyhow the from the pops. So Alright, yeah, that's scored a good amount of Lock points. Yeah, so you got I mean it's a lucrative mode. Like that's a good points there. It, particularly if you don't cash it in after one or two bowl collections, Ask if you do anything. all the bowl collections and then cash it in, it's 1.2 mil, I think. Do that a couple of times within the scope of the mode, game. and there you go, you lock your ball. But that's only one of three. Okay. It's Ooh, not right there. down the yeah. So the, uh, the, uh, you know how I was commenting before Everyone that the, the tree shot is hard because Multi it doesn't get back to the the right flipper well yeah. it does but you need to earn it so you could shoot the left ramp and then do that cross ramp which would then return it back down to the right flipper which then would allow you to do that shot over again so it's encouraging you to dial in like that, that shot like that and then take that shot again and Lock the ball. then repeat the process so you can qualify it if you dial in that shot and get used to it right so again, it's rewarding. It's rewarding that more advanced play right. to 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 do it. So it's again a really nice little gameplay balance there. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, take a look then at Garfield, which I Garfield. don't believe I have touched at all, ever. <laughs> I could say that I no, I I agree with you there. I hadn't touched Garfield oh, until Garfield uh, and until here. Because uh, it was out of, we were out of the beta by the yeah. time this one was released on a Zen Pinball Party. Um, I'm just so, gonna I mean, say, the cabinet art looks good. Well, but that back glass is pretty hideous. <laughs> yeah, that, that is not. That's not an inviting like, back glass at all. <laughs> no, it doesn't even really have the product name or. No, anything. it's just a poster. <laughs> yeah, it is. Sunshine. Yeah. Welcome to another fun filled day with your favorite pet. I like the art style on this. We got a little spinner right there in the middle. Yeah, you got a spin disc. You got lots of um, ejects. Upper you got play some... field pop bumpers. Yeah. That upper play field reminds me subtly of the WWF upper play field with the ring. But it's not quite like that. But it, I just looked at it and went, oh, that's WWF style. All right. Let's get into our proper view mode there. That is the correct view. Raise left flip. Roy. Oh. The waiting's getting Didn't to me. It. Hit the active food wall skill shot. Raise left flipper and hit trash or spider for super skill shot. Okay. Hmm. Do that. Oh, I probably should have. Nope. Not quite fast enough. All right. Let's see if I can work out what we're supposed to do here. Okay. Oh, New set right. in place. Various things are raising and lowering. That's a good, I mean, a good start. It gives you a visual clue. Okay, so those orbits basically go up to, they lead up to those pop bumpers that then drop down. That's right. Interesting. And you might not realize, but there, there is actually Time a lane change lunch, up the top there, like a two oh, lane coffee? lane change. Yeah. 
and in this view, you can't see a single thing. Up there. <laughs> so here, let's. It's completely obscured. Nope, can't see. see. Oh, there's the lanes. Yep, but they're not. Cannot see them. So, but there's no lights there. No. Hmm. Oh, uh, I think the the lights. You know, I don't know. There needs to be uh, some sort of Look out indication for that up there. Dog. That you've done one. They're, like they're pretty much the same orientation as the, the two lanes on Attack from Mars and on Medieval Madness. You know, they could do with some sort of like you know how in oh what is it, a Creature from the Black Lagoon and uh, Theater of Magic how they have those little animated things above the lanes yeah. to show you what ones Garfield, you've got, what ones you don't. They could do with something like that, like maybe donuts or something that Garfield likes to eat. Lasagna's. Yeah, I'm, and obviously I'm not going to tell you anything. No. You have to work it out yourself, because that's the rule. <laughs> got to come in blind to these things. That's right. It, it does give you flashing lights. Yeah, I got a little flashing light for a lock. Let's see if I can yeah. that. Why in the world would I want to nice. eat a mouse? Good. Dinner time, Garfield. Don't worry, Odie. It's not an avalanche. It's just my stomach rumbling. Okay, new set in place. All that lines feed Garfield are points. Garfield, we're well, all out of There's a flipper up there. I didn't even see that happening. Yep, yeah, there sure is. Not for all the lasagna in Italy. There you go. That thing was hidden. well hidden underneath that rail. Yeah, it is very hidden. This will do as an appetizer. I still don't really know. Are you what sure this is what the I'm diet doing. book says <laughs> I get for lunch? One lettuce. It needs more call outs, doesn't it? What's that? Well, it needs more call outs. But there's just like random blinking happening. Um, so now you, items the screen's just, telling you to do something. Yeah, okay. but I. Okay, new set in place. As we keep on saying, telling me to do things on the DMD without pausing the ball to let me read what to do on the DMD is not. It's optimal. no good. It's not what you want. What not what you need. Because, like, okay, there. I just lit Garfield on that one, but he's still blinking. You know what I mean? And yep. no other lights lit up. So, because, in my opinion, if something is blinking, either I hit the hey, lane Arlene, and it stops blinking. What you doing? Okay, in that Which case, that one just that did. That one just did. But See how the other didn't. one's blinking with more intensity? So yeah. the other Garfield is now blinking faster than the other ones. Oh, so is that telling me that's the next one I have to I shoot? I think we all saw this coming. That's the message I'm getting from the light show. Yeah. Okay. It's almost like it's like a... What's that game we got a match to? It feels yeah. like that's how this game is designed. What's the first part of this? Hit the active food bowl for a skill shot. Oh, I see. Okay, so if I just do that... Apparently, I got skill shot on that. Oh, yeah. No point in delaying the bad news. So I just started something, and there was no audio indicator to tell me that I just started something. Music didn't yeah, change. No. There wasn't a call out to change. Nothing. Yep, exactly. It and I really don't know where I'm supposed to be firing. 
and because there's no it's big flashing scrolling light showing you what lane is the center pizza. of loot. No. Like, what is the center loot here? I can tell you it's the one Don't worry, Odie. Place right it's behind not an avalanche. The, um, it's just my stomach rumbling. Uh, the the spin discs uprights at the moment. Uh, so the one that, yeah, it's, better. it's not, oh, you got a ball. How'd you get that? Uh -huh. You think I know? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> the mailman will be along soon. So that is the center, that's the center loop, what you just shot there. But it really could do with some more visual clues about what lanes are what. Yeah. I mean, I'm just. Oh, Wait. what? what ball happened? two of six locked for pizza special multi ball. You can start multi ball or lock more balls. I locked the ball. The DMV, whatever. Isn't it? But again. There wasn't a single audio clue. You're going, where's my ball? Like, but it was, there was nothing saying, hey, look up here. Look at the DMD and select. The music didn't change. There was nothing. Mm -hmm. But That's I right. don't want to lose. It's not oh, fair. Oh, you nearly be beat my score there, Chris. Mm. Didn't quite get there. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Probably next time because okay. my score isn't that high. Hold on. <laughs> Who designed this thing? You see? It's Crofts! Really? All right. That is interesting. That is interesting, because I usually really like his tables. And I'm like, not feeling it. <laughs> yeah, not feeling it. I mean, it's it's got a lot to shoot. It just needs... It needs some visual clues. Like, a little bit of extra time on the visual clues in the... Visual and audio. It's reminding Visual me. A, audio, yeah. It's reminding me a lot of Bob's Burgers. Yeah, um, it is quite. Which I feel yeah. suffered the same problem. There was a lot of blinky mm. things happening, but no real indication of what you were supposed to be doing. Yep. Th yeah, that's why I don't really enjoy playing Bob's Burgers because it doesn't feel. Fun. Why in the world would I want to eat a mouse? It's not a bad mouse. table. And I guess, I don't know, I don't really like the show either, so that's probably a problem as well. So the theme doesn't really capture me. I hate to say it, but almost all those tables, because, like, I do like Archer. Or Fox tables. And it's a yeah. terrible table. <laughs> yeah. Like... Yeah, it doesn't do the, the show friend, uh, the justice. No, they literally just took random audio quotes and threw them in there without yep. actually having the table. The table could have been extraordinarily funny if yep. it had been okay. uh, New set in place. custom, custom audio callouts. for a pinball machine. Yeah. yeah, They should strive, I think, as part of when they're doing one of these bespoke tables. They they really need to strive for custom callouts. I mean, that's what Stern and all the uh, big-name designers do. Yeah. They get, you know, like... Uh, custom call that's done that you know help you do things in the game so i guarantee that new food fighters table is going to have a buttload of custom callouts they taste a lot. <laughs> uh yeah uh -huh. it's gonna have a lot uh -huh. um particularly as the the uh -huh. there's a member of the band that's a big uh -huh. pinball fan um so you can absolutely bet that they're uh -huh. gonna be in it Doing the I've heard of fast sure. food, but the, this is ridiculous. The art style the table, it's, it's another zombie yeti, so mm -hmm. it's, it's automatically amazing. I'm helping Poopy stick to um, his diet. No, 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 John. And Odie. Well, that's lasagna. No point that's in delaying sandwich. the bad news. <laughs> so, what you're doing here, it's not immediately okay. obvious, but you're, you think your goal is to actually hit the lasagnas, which sort of is. But that's not where you actually collect your points. Oh. The, the points are actually on the flashing lanes. What? You mean all of them? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so basically, you're, you're using lasagnas as like a score boost, and then you shoot a flashing lane, and that will actually give you the, the points. So at the moment, you're not getting anything. Now you've actually got it. So you, 
and then the points are held. So you're currently at 700,000. So you just got another 700,000. So the more the zombies you produce. I haven't eaten for almost 27 minutes. And then I activated the dog. So this is a table with no mode start. It's all essentially kind of light spell around. Yeah. Um, it's not terrible spell around. It's like ma basically match the symbols to start a mode. So if you look at that, you got one, two, two, four, six, eight. So there's four modes that you start by matching ramp to ramp or shot to shot. Um, Again, this is this is one that you might have to actually have a little squiz at the instructions for to really understand how to play it, which you know is you know our our indication for like you know, is the game easily playable or not? Well, this is unfortunately probably a fail in that regard. Where in the world like, would I want to use a mouse? How easy is it to pick up? Dinner time. Ooh, you got your other mouse lock open. Don't worry, please. Odie. It's you not an avalanche. It. It's just my stomach rumbling. I always think about the okay. table that I hated place. at first. All this scale needs was is a replaced, believe it or not. Tampering with. Oh yeah. Um, until I read the instructions, mm. and then once I read the instructions, it became one of my favorite tables. But yep. the thing is, is the instructions really locked you into what the progression Time is of lunch, the table, Odie. what the story is of the table. Mm. Food. And unfortunately, every single time I've had to read instructions on a Zen table, it doesn't this further make me get the flow of the score. It is just a myriad of ways to score. Yeah, and this, like, we really saw it's that when we had to look at the instructions for Borderlands and how to get that skill shot. Like the instructions on how to get the skill shot, we're halfway through the instruction set. Yeah, like that's that, that doesn't. Like, you should, as an instructional designer, when you're laying out the instructions, you should have what you encounter first, or most likely to encounter first in the game, right at the front. So you can quickly go in there and have a look and only have to scroll maybe two or three pages to understand that feature that you've just discovered in the game as you explore a game. So that would be my, my absolute bit of feedback here, is like, with those instructions, look at the... I guess look at the um, the way the game unfolds features and structure your instructions in that order. Your instructions tell the story essentially. That still wouldn't help Borderlands. <laughs> no, because it doesn't. I no, it's, it's crazy. They're easier to catch. I, I can honestly say I have not better. played that game uh -huh. since uh -huh. since we did uh -huh. the show. I gave it another go to try and uh, really figure it out. Yeah, really give it a good shot. Um, and, I mean, I did figure out how to do the skill shot. But, ultimately, I just I just kind of lost interest over time. Um, yeah. It just didn't inspire me to keep on playing. As opposed to yep. playing Brothers in Arms. And... Just one more game. It is kind of a just one more game. Um, mm. The funny thing with that one is, is I don't... The theming on Borderlands is so much better. <laughs> Borderlands mm. is a very appealing looking table and the audio on Borderlands is really good. Uh, yeah. It's just the rule set the, the, the code. It's not an avalanche. Um, it's, it's and, and the shots. Right. Time for yeah. lunch, Odie. Uh, Brothers in Arms has Dark the shots, Leo. has the coding, at least as far as I was concerned. Hey, Arlene. What you it's doing? just a bit of a boring looking game. And, and it's kind of boring sounding. It's got the sleepy music and Garfield, yeah. we're all out of capture. But you know, the same you can be said no, no, no. way today. for... Um, Not for all uh, the lasagna Homeworld. in Italy. You know, when I first looked at Homeworld, no I didn't have a lot of nice things to say news. about it, right? Well, have you warmed but, up to it? Yeah, I have, you know. Really? Like, it's... Garfield, yeah, it's... I've realized, I think, the intent of the designer on that table. So, the idea is... I mean, I kind of got the... The understanding that the game is about the long, the long play, right? Mm -hmm. you're, you're collecting resources. Those resources actually do take a long time to accumulate in the game. Um, so, the, the way that the the thing, the game, almost deliberately slows down time, is actually 
like it sort of fits the franchise and sort mm. of fits the actual video game aesthetic. So I understand that now. And once I got over that hurdle, okay. I realized, okay, so everything, Garfield. like, you know, the Look fact that you've got to, like, qualify and you've got to shoot eight times. Well, that is kind of how the game works. You've got to do a lot of resource collecting before you can upgrade your ships and stuff like that. So, again, that's sort of like play, paying homage to the the actual source materials, um, uh, I guess, mode of being. So once you do that and you realize where the points are in the game, which is obviously the modes, just if you ever encountered this thing in um, event mode in Zen, even if it's like limited flips or like time challenge, it's all about the game modes and there's certain modes that will get you points quick. You know? So again, once you get that layer and you understand that extra layer of gameplay with the game, it actually becomes quite a chill table to play but also a rewarding table. What is it, the fact that there's Something interesting on TV? And you can sort of just flip around and enjoy yourself on the on the table. You just got to get past the fact that it's deliberately slowing everything down because that's sort of the aesthetic of the game. Yeah. Once you get past that, I find it's it's actually really quite a fun game to play. So check this out right now. I, well, oh, there we it's I'm supposed to hit the TV. Yeah, okay. But there was still a bunch of things Don't lighting worry, and flashing. Odie. It's not an avalanche. Because I'm it's guessing you can stack running. what's yes. things that are open and happening. You can in this game. But that's You can start multiple modes together. Like if you you can do like a multiple okay. plus a New you know, one place. of the other modes and it doesn't seem to restrict you. So you can have but like, like if you a have thing. a if you have a hurry up going on, which was what that TV was, was a hurry up mode. Mm. Then, uh, feature the lights for it. Sure, well, you can yeah. let other what things start. Already? Something but interesting on TV. It's kind of pathetic. You have priorities. <laughs> <for free> <laughs> nice. Because there's other games, you know, you know real world, you know, Williams or Stern pit tables that. Um, you can stack modes on, but they do oh, yeah, a good job fact. of of l directing you to what is the primary thing. And I'm thinking, like, if you think about uh, Monster Bash, yeah, um, you know, you can. You mean I win again? Have multiple things at the same time collecting. But your main goal is multi ball. Like if you, because it's like Monster Bash, because I've been playing it a fair bit recently. It's all about the stack. So yeah. you, you stack, like, say, two modes running. You have the multiple primed and open ready to receive your ball. But I don't want to And then you, you, it's you not basically fair. put the ball up in the multi ball and you're getting elevated scores because you've got two modes running. But your goal is not the modes. They they stop, time has stopped running for the modes, but they count towards your ability to score more in the multi ball. Yeah. So that sort of balancing is what we need more of in the, okay. the games here, I think. Okay, new set in place. I haven't even paid attention as to how to raise a multiplier on this thing. Not really? No. Oh, that's how. Okay. Spelling coffee. Oh, right, okay. So just multiple rolling overs at the top there, and that'll get you the bonus multiplier. Yeah. So again, we're looking, for, we're looking for typical pinball tropes. Yep. I mean, that's one. What is oh, it, Odie? Something interesting on TV? Big vicious dog spins. Okay, so that spinner has qualified you for a mode that I think is running at the moment. I think you've got to. It doesn't tell you though. Oh no! Hit TV to spend an evening with. Hit TV. How do you? Oh, yeah, so that's the remote. The TV's control, right there, but but see how everything but, else is blinking also. But the the problem is that it's like the, the it's not a TV. It's hit the remote. It's not a TV. It's a remote control. Oh. You know what I mean. So, yeah, okay, now you're doing with an evening with Mozart. So if you keep spinning that remote control or the TV as they incorrectly name it. Okay, so deliver pizza at center orbit. Oh, okay. What's the okay. center orbit? Oh, so that's, oh, right, so the TV is, is to the right of the spin disc. Yes. But it's diagonally opposed, so soon. it doesn't look obvious that it's a TV. 
Well, I just, I literally just saw it then. I would have no, if you asked me during play where that TV was, I would have had so no the idea. So the center orbit, I'm assuming, is hitting with the center flipper. Because oh, you reckon? Well, I don't know. That's what was blinking. I. <laughs> oh. That's what I'm saying. The the, the no point in delaying the, the bad the news. The things orbit. that are blinking Garfield. are Get not hell. prominent. Again, the like if we had a look at the instructions, it will call out what the center orbit is, like with the arrows, right. so you know. But the you DMD should. is not helping us here. Like it's like the if it is what you say, and it's actually that the loop off the flipper, the upper flipper, then that's not a center loop. That's a side loop. Like that's the language you would use there if you're describing that. So. But I'm just like all the same. If this and again. This is what I don't like about these cartoon tables, because they just light everything up, right? This is a yeah. flatly lit, everything is on kind of look. And that doesn't help, whereas if it was darker, then you could use the GI lighting to direct where worry, the it's area is avalanche. that you want us it's to focus just my on. stomach rumbling. Well, you know, it's just, this is the fantasy table. Do what it's they do in Doctor Strange and like, make a whole ramp flash or something pizza. like that. You know? Yeah. Like, make the whole ramp glow mm -hmm. or do something. You know? Well, we've said they, that Zen needs to improve their light show. Yeah. Um, or, you know, in keeping in keeping with the design of this table, put the speech bubbles over the ramp that you've got to shoot. Sure. Or something like that, you know. Like, Garfield, we're yeah. all out of well, cat nice weekly record. You'll have to eat dog food today. But I mean... Not for all the lasagna yeah. in oh, Italy. okay, everyone to the I think we all saw right. this coming. Um, <laughs> now, you think about... Uh, uh, you look at what Jersey Jack does with their tables. And their light shows. Yeah. Well, I mean, everything is blinking on their light shows, but the prominent shots are blinking more. <laughs> so at least you know. Right. But you. But uh, but you know what I mean. They're using the the LEDs to like. Uh, uh, you know, the lights are moving in a direction. Yeah, and, that's and right. And will they, change they, directions of you know. To, uh, they're acting almost as giant arrows. They are for sure. Um, yeah, as I mean, opposed to just this, which is a very old why school. in the world would I want to eat a mouse? Uh, way of doing things. But if I go back and I look at a, you know, late 80s Williams table, I guarantee you, even though it has the same basic uh, amount of inserts that this has, those inserts are directing me exactly where I need to go. Yeah. Yeah, there's no doubt on what you need to shoot. Like, no. I'm thinking of something like Belly's Game Show or something like that. I was even thinking of, like, yeah. Earthshaker. Oh, yeah, that's true. Same same era, but, yeah, you're right. Like, yeah. you, it tells you exactly what you need to Hello, shoot with big, this is John glowing, Arbuckle, and I'd like to order large inserts. pepperoni and... This and has big, glowing, uh, triangular-shaped inserts, pizza. but they're dedicated Garfield, to Jack, which only it. happens occasionally. So, you know, the, the little inserts are still oh. doing it, but they don't... Oh. Hey, Arlene. Much. Now, Nat, see that? Doing? You've actually got, I'm helping um, you've got multiple things going on started. right now. And you've got all the things. And you've got, like, no, spiders no, no, no. going. They've you've taken got... Pookie hostage. Got... So it no looks screens. like in the DMV, which you can't see. I've never seen Garfield, Garfield look so um, happy. You've got Fabes and Arlene lit at the same time in the multiple. So mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. telling you underneath your score the time left for each of those modes within the I'll settle for that. So it's sort of like just, well, shoot anything and hope for the best, really, because right. everything's lit. Yeah, it's, it's very much like, okay, just just don't, don't drain and shoot the flashing shots, <laughs> is, I've heard of which you're doing a good food, job of. But this is and you've got 31 million points, so nice work hungry. on that. Um, haven't eaten for but yeah, th this seems to be the modus of Miranda on this table. Stack your modes uh -huh. into multiple, and, uh -huh. and so you're, are you're off to the, off for for the races, sometime? really. For lasagna? Oh, I'm not fussy. Got that brand you know, I, I've been wondering why don't you bring the mail to the house? Okay, so now you've, oh, right. you've qualified yeah. posty as I've well, the but this is your last mode that's lit. But all your ramp shots are still Blank the same. So, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing is telling me that I did anything. I don't see any progression. After all of that, I've got, you know, two inserts there on the bottom lit with Garfield's favorites and Feed Me, but the, all those blinky lights in the middle of the table. They're just blinky well, lights to me. I They're literally not yeah. telling me anything. It's not telling me how you many times what? I've shot a lane. You know, I reckon Zen... This is a future design idea which Zen could consider. Is they could 
they could do a multimorphic here. They could very easily put a larger format display in the middle of the play field, like multimorphic does, mm -hmm. but not have all the all the limitations of the multimorphic platform, mm -hmm. being that you know mechanically you can't put anything through a screen. But imagine if that middle play field there was adaptive and it showed you interactively what things you were supposed to be hitting. Um, <laughs> That would be okay. You could New very easily place. replicate what is it, Odie? the multiple games that are available TV? because there are no technical limitations. So, multimorphic, I think, is a very, very possible target here for Zen if they wanted to pursue them. Don't worry, Odie. It's not an avalanche. It's just my stomach rumbling. See, there's that shaker motor in place. Hmm. Which, then if you're going to put shaker on. motors in your uh, pinball, in then shape. you better, when I it comes to cabinet time, shape. support people that put Round shaker motors in their shape. cabinets. <laughs> yep. Great, now feed me is blinking again. Yep, so now you've got a... So, seriously, what in the hell are all these lights telling me? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> They're I just think symbols. It, to me, it's, it's oh, hit this lane four times, and then jackpot would be lit. That's what I would think, but nope. <laughs> I don't even know. All lit lanes feed Garfield for points. Bumper hits race scores. So I, mean, that. I just hit a lit shots. lane. Except for, okay, well, no, you want a little lit Garfield lane, right? Yeah, that's, well, no, you want to lit anything that's flashing. You just collected it. So but how can you and tell? Then basically, because I just saw it on the DMD. Right, but, but the, that's because but the, I saw it on the DMD. Right, but the There's inserts... There's no audio call out saying, great, you know, you've collected a thing. You mean I win again? Yeah. But the inserts that are there, nothing changed. That's right. <laughs> you didn't get like a little blinking animation or something on them. They just kept scrolling. Well, and uh, again, I'm just saying, if I hit, if you have four inserts, each time I hit the lane, I expect one of those inserts to light up. That's what I expect. Or do something. Or do something. Yeah. Not just continue to blink as if, hey, you can shoot this direction. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, That's cool. Isn't this great? It's a whole That's lot a of, points of points for me to just, like, not care about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And this is your, oh, wow, you got a super skill shot there. How'd you do that? I don't know. Because I hit the back. You the shot the fridge or something. Or did you hit the spider? Well, it's, it's either hit the spider or hit the trash can. That's your option right. if you do the left. Okay. If you do the left, the flip super up. skill shot. Yeah, right. The super skill shot is a trash can. I think the spider blocks the trash the can. Man will be along. No, because so, you can hit the spider too. It's a, it gives you the option. It does, but to get the super skill shots harder because the spider blocks the trash can occasionally. What the hell am I doing? Oh, what's Shoot this the then? the ramps, then collect the time. Which ramps? Those two? Okay, those two, I Shoot guess. Shoot the ramps, then clock. So ramps, then clock. But how do you work this out? Because there's only... Look, okay. Okay, so they're scrolling. The, the, yeah, the I lanes see those are scrolling two. to show you what you're supposed to be shooting. But, like, look what they did here. They dropped the they dropped the lights. Finally. Like, yeah, finally, right? So we, we actually have a... Like a reduced lighting scenario in the table, which is great. We'll do this more. Ah! Like... Ah... Oh. And oh. yeah, I think that's the end. Let's get another ball. But I don't want to lose. <laughs> that's the end. Fair. So where does that put you on the leaderboards? Probably twenty, 20, 20 seconds. Second. Last word. Twenty seconds. What is what is the go Y and look at the sorry whatever Y. Hang on. What is Y on a PlayStation you... controller? <laughs> so the buttons are here. The buttons are here on this screen, showing you Xbox functions, but on the main screen. They're not. They're just black squares. So these have got obviously hard-coded buttons for the Xbox controller here. Yeah. They're not dynamic buttons. So that's a, that's an interesting bug. So what are we, 115? 232? Yeah, 250 million for number one. Oh, yeah, good old Wims. He's always up there on the top. He's a good player. I've beaten him a couple of times, though. 40. Oh, somebody... Um, the other day, somebody ping me on Facebook because they were watching a stream and somebody finally knocked me off the first place position in Safe Cracker, oh, okay. which I pretty much held all throughout the early access. And it was, to their credit, a 
a very good beating. Like they, I had like five, something like five million seven hundred thousand on Safe Cracker that I earned through obviously Assault from the Vault. Yeah, um, and they got like six five or something like that. So they had a really really good assault. Um, so good on them. But then I just went to some other game modes and just got first on those instead. So, <laughs> <you know. laughs> I'm still up there. All right, so there we go. There's our uh, uh, two plays. Um, I think you can tell which mm. one I enjoyed and which one I didn't. <laughs> mm. I think that was pretty apparent. Yeah. Um, yeah. And again, I'm really surprised because I usually like most of Thomas's stuff. I agree. Um, so I'm yeah. I'm quite uh, quite surprised on that aspect. Um, so I think. Thomas had the right idea here. Like stacking modes is a really fun thing to put in a pinball machine. I just think the way they're called out could do with a couple of extra iterations. Yeah. Uh, and that, like, and again, you're not changing the rules here. You're just changing how things, the mechanics of gameplay work in the game. Um, so they could, which they won't do. They won't go back and revisit a table. Which sucks. I mean, I really well, yeah. want them to take... They need to take the approach that Stern takes and the Jersey Jack yeah. takes. Cobra Visions. Put the tables out in the wild. Let your customers play with it. Get feedback for what they like, what they don't like, and then change the code accordingly to bring mm -hmm. it up to par. Because um, I understand it's, it's hard making these things in a vacuum. You don't know what's going to work, what's not, what you what you want, what no. you don't. Um but listen to the feedback and put those tweaks in. You know, update the code. Uh, you know, Stern and all the manufacturers used to do this all the time. Belly Williams were famous for putting, like, you know, oh, white they just woods send out new ROM chips location. Yeah. Well, no, white, they put a white wood out there to play test and actually oh, get well, sure. people to, yeah, you know. So there's, I mean, it's so much easier to do that in a platform like Zen has, but they don't do it. And it's probably because of time constraints and the fact that they're still building up their dev team. But like you, you look at um, how Stern does it, and the the developer of the game essentially owns the the game and owns the code, not owns it from a intellectual property perspective. But they're responsible for improving the code over time based on the feedback that they're getting. Yeah. So I I don't. <laughs> I don't really see how there shouldn't be a, a like a maintenance cycle factored into a game's release. Maybe there is, maybe we're just not aware of it, but it doesn't feel like there is at the moment. Um, and it's a real shame because there's stuff left on the table that could be fixed to make some of these games much more enjoyable from their initial release. Yeah, and I just really wish they considered doing it, or at least uh, if they're they're doing it now to an extent, they need to double down their effort on it. Anyhow. Uh, anyway, all right. Well, That's our very cheap opinions on the matter. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's easy for us to sit here and go, oh, they should do this and should do that, but we don't know the the probably heavily constrained problems they're under trying to get their two- or three-year roadmap executed. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, it's easy for us to say these things, but it's it's hard for them to actually do it. So we, we get that, but we're still not going to stop talking about it nope. because, you know, it's very frustrating. Absolutely. All right. Um, well, that's all the uh, time that we have for you guys this go around. Uh, we will be back probably in two weeks to, uh, I imagine, maybe hammer out a couple more of these tables. Uh, maybe go old school, go visit those South Park tables. Um, oh, yeah. We'll see what. Uh, they're, they're always fun. Bit of butters. I love the butters <laughs> table. The butters table is great. Yeah. Um, it's fun. The other one I'm not so fond of. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, and who knows, maybe by that point, Zen will actually have uh, some new news for us to discuss too. Um, probably will. I think we're due a, another pinball show this month, and it'll probably be centering around what they're going to do about um, the the whole tickets thing, or coins, as they call them now. Yeah. Um, and getting those back to people, I would think. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. That'll be interesting. All right, but... That's what we're guessing that we're going to be uh, talking about uh, next time. But as usual, Jared has has the call. It's always going to be stuff and things, which you're 
which you're used to now. That's right. Come to expect from the show. Uh, so until then, <laughs> folks. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>